Back in 2019, I reviewed one of my favorite laptops from HP. It's their business-focused laptop from their Elite line. It was the HP Elite Dragonfly. It was the Gen 1, and it brought a lot of interesting features we hadn't seen before in a business-focused laptop. Well, fast forward here to 2021, I've got something that takes it to another level. HP just sent me the HP Elite Dragonfly Max. You now get a five megapixel webcam that's capable of up to 1440p video. Finally, we get something that looks pretty decent when it comes to Zoom calls when we're working from home. You also get 11th gen Tiger Lake processors. You also get a Shoreview Reflect display that has been improved immensely. That can get as bright as 1,000 nits according to HP. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the HP Elite Dragonfly Max. All new for 2021, coming up. Now, while we look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. They're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit was provided by HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. You can pick up the Dragonfly Max with a starting price of $22.65. I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. Yeah, it's not cheap, but this is one beautiful looking business executive laptop. We're going to get into it now. And as you can see from this chart, there are some differences between the Dragonfly Max and the Dragonfly G2. You can see they have the same exact dimensions. But the Max is slightly heavier at 2.49 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. The Dragonfly G2 comes in at less than 2.2 pounds or less than 1 kilogram. Super light, but not that much lighter than the Max. But there's a big difference when it comes to the camera. On the Max, you now get a 5 megapixel infrared camera that's capable of up to 1440p video. That is right, it looks great. On the Dragonfly G2, it can only go up to 720p HD video. Not quite as good. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. And I gotta say, once again, we get some really high-end packaging on this Elite line, that's for sure. Now you do get some warranty information as well as a setup guide to let you know how to use this laptop. Lifting the lid, I'm greeted by the unit itself, as well as a SIM card for me to check out the 5G. That's thanks to HP, of course. And of course, you get the unit itself. We're going to get to this in just a little bit. And you get that very compact USB-C AC adapter that we've been seeing as of late from HP. You also get the extension cord. Holding the unit for the first time, super thin and super light at 2.49 pounds or 1.1 kilograms, definitely portable to take with you on the go. And they also like the sparkling black finish, a little bit different than the Dragonfly Blue that we saw in the past. It also has a really nice oleophobic coating. It really doesn't show too many fingerprints, which is quite unusual for a black finished laptop. And that magnesium chassis also has some really great durability, having undergone a number of tests, earning a military standard A10H rating, making this a laptop that takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And there are parts on this that are made from ocean-bound plastics, and the magnesium has been recycled. Therefore, they're doing their part, at least in some part, to help the environment, and that's always good. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We're going to start off on the left side. We get one USB-A port, a power button, of course, a Kensington lock port, and the SIM tray for the optional 5G. Moving over to the right side, you get two Thunderbolt 4 slash USB 4 ports that are capable of doing multiple 4K monitors or one 8K monitor with this laptop. You also get your microphone headphone combo jack and finally an HDMI 2.0 port. Notably missing, there's no micro or full-size SD card reader. Now to get inside this laptop, they make it really easy. All you need to do is remove the T5 Torx screws, pop off the bottom plate, and you're in. It's that simple. Now once inside, you'll notice that it has a single fan for cooling, and it also has a 4-cell 56-watt-hour battery. Now as far as what's user-upgradable, the SSD is user-upgradable by the user, although you get some excellent reads and writes, as you can see from these results. Now the RAM, unfortunately, is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade that, but you can get this with up to 32 
32 gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM, my review unit comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has Wi-Fi 6 along with Bluetooth 5. Now that Wi-Fi card is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade it, but it is Wi-Fi 6 and it's working really well. Now, my review unit does have that 5G modem on it. It's the Qualcomm Snapdragon X55 that is a Cat20 modem. They also sent over an AT&T SIM card for me to check out 5G with my review unit. So this is the front-facing camera on the brand-new HP Elite Dragonfly Max here for 2021. We now have a 5-megapixel camera to improve what would be work-from-home needs to improve Zoom calls, to have your better quality here in terms of video. Uh, let me know how the audio sounds as well with the built-in mics. Now this is 1080p, but I noticed in the settings, this is also capable of 1440p or QHD resolution. Let's take a look at that now. I don't know if you can see a big difference between 1080p and 1440p, but what I like about it is a much better quality as far as what we've been seeing in the past year and a half since the pandemic has started. So I got to say, I'm impressed with what we're getting here on the Dragonfly Max. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, as I mentioned, this is an infrared camera. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. And there's also a privacy shutter switch that allows you to turn off the webcam for more security and privacy. Now, there's also a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard on the right side. Setup was easy and registered my finger each and every time I used it. It worked fast and worked reliably. Okay, let's talk about that display. What we're looking at here is a 13.3 inch anti-glare full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That means it has a 16 to nine aspect ratio. It also is a touch display covered in Gorilla Glass 5. And this is an HP Shoreview Reflect display, which is a privacy display that HP claims will get up to a whopping 1,000 nits. Now, I didn't quite get 1,000 nits, but I did get an amazing 815 nits when it comes to brightness. That is pretty much unbelievable. Now, as far as the black levels, really deep blacks, very vibrant colors, good white points, and it also has excellent contrast with a 1540 to 1 ratio. It also has a pretty decent Delta E score, although I would like to see it below 2. I got 2.31 means it's a somewhat color accurate display and it also covers the color gamut really well 99% sRGB 76% Adobe RGB 76% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut and 70% NTSC making this a good choice for content creators to do Lightroom Photoshop and of course video editing and as I mentioned earlier, it has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, which of course is optimized for consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube, really great for this device. But for productivity, I definitely prefer a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which of course has been the trend in 2021, especially for business-focused laptops. Now, I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of these privacy displays, but this Shoreview Reflect display on this model has been an improvement in terms of the technology. It really is a great display. It does get super bright, as I mentioned, and the viewing angles are much better than previous iterations. I got to say, a big improvement, big step up over the last generation in terms of these privacy displays. Now, if you're a business executive on the go, having this privacy display is a real boon to protection and security, especially from peering eyes when you're on the go. If you're on a plane or if you're somewhere public, this will protect sensitive data as only the person looking at the screen directly will be able to see it. If you're looking at it from an angle or from above, you will not be able to see what's on the display. Now, this is a standard feature on the Max line, although there is no 4K option, which I would have liked to have seen or a standard display option that would have been nice but not on the dragonfly max you'll have to go with this one option that's with the shore view privacy display and this being a two-in-one convertible means you can put this into the different modes. Of course, you can see the tent mode here. This is great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. And the same could be said of the stand mode, which is also great for consuming media. And you could always put it into the tablet mode. This is makes for a great tablet due to its light weight. It's a 2.49 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. And that is definitely good for use with the pen. Now, speaking of the pen, that is a separate purchase. They do not include 
include one in the box. I kind of wish they did at this price point, but they don't. But I happen to have one of the pens from the prior generations with me. It uses the Wacom AES technology, and it's the Wacom AES 2.0 for those wanting the specific information. It's great for taking notes. It's great for sketching out artwork. It's programmable. It has a programmable button on the top, and I really like that. The click on it's really good, and the pen has been working great, although there is nowhere to store it on the device. So you'll have to get a carrying case for this laptop that will have a place to put the pen in it. And it also has a really great app called the HP Easy Clean. And for two minutes, what will happen is it will the device will be locked and you can proceed to sanitize the device. Pressing Shift Alt L will take you out of the HP Easy Clean mode. This is great. I think a lot of other manufacturers need to follow this lead. This is a great feature to have, especially while we're in this pandemic or coming out of it. And we want to keep our laptop sanitized. Okay, let's talk about that keyboard, which I am absolutely loving on this device. It is a quiet keyboard. It is an excellent keyboard when it comes to key travel and for tactile feedback. Very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Now, it does have 1.3 millimeters of key travel, which is great, especially for a thin and light laptop. And it just doesn't feel like your fingers are going to bottom out. Pleasure typing on this device so far, and I'm really liking it. Now, this is also a backlit keyboard, which allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now, this also has a precision touchpad. It's a glass touchpad that works really well, super responsive, where two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth, and all the gestures work as you'd expect. They did a great job when it comes to the touchpad. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this has a single fan for cooling, and one of the things that they wanted to make sure that this laptop would have was a very quiet experience for the business user. And so what they did was they limited the performance out of this Core i7-1185G7, which we know is a very capable chipset, and they limited the performance in order to keep this as quiet as possible, especially if you're using this in a meeting or if you're using this out in the open, you want to be able to keep the quiet experience there for the business user. And that's why we're seeing not the the best of the results here when it comes to the benchmarks and these are my initial benchmarks of course i will be putting it through the ringer and bringing you my full review coming very soon now, there are four speakers on this laptop. They're Bang & Olufsen tuned, and there are two on the top, and there are two on the bottom. The two subwoofers are actually on the bottom, and the sound coming out of this has been great. Not what I would expect from a business laptop, but what I'm hearing is great volume, good mids, and there is some bass. This is a great audio experience, and again, not something we normally see out of a business-focused laptop. Good job on that front. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this has a four cell 56 watt hour battery. And my first test that I did on this, of course, is my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. It did 11 hours and four minutes, which means in real world mixed usage, you're going to get anywhere from eight to nine hours, uh, depending, of course, on what you're doing. So your mileage may vary. So please keep that in mind. But battery life is looking good so far on the Elite Dragonfly Max. Okay, 24 hours in, what do I think about the all-new HP Elite Dragonfly Max? And I gotta say, I really do like it, although they did limit the performance to give you that quiet experience with the less fan noise, and some people may find that to be a deal breaker. I don't, because this is gonna be geared towards a business professional that needs something on the go, that has that optional 5G, so they're always connected, they can get their productivity work done, they can consume media on this, and they have the security and privacy thanks to that privacy display. And boy, oh boy, thank you, HP, for finally giving us a 5 megapixel webcam that we can actually use capable of up to 1440p video. It is good, it's crisp, it's clean, and the audio sounds great. So thank you, HP, once again. Finally, we can do our Zoom calls and look actually pretty decent. Now, as far as what I don't like about this laptop, 16 to 9 aspect ratio is seems to be not the trend here in 2021. That would be 16 to 10. There's no 4K option. You have to pay extra for the pen and a performance has been throttled down, as I mentioned, and this can get expensive with a high starting price. But of course, companies won't blink at this as they will buy them in bulk and get some discounts from HP. But no real deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. I will be putting it through its paces and I will bring you my full review coming very soon. So what do you think about the HP Elite Dragonfly Max? This is the sparkling black. This is the original Gen 1 of the Dragonfly the regular version. This is the Dragonfly Blue. It's like an iridescent blue. Uh, which color do you like better? Let me know in the comment section below. I like the oleophobic coating on this. Shows less fingerprints. You will see some, of course. It is a black laptop, but not quite as bad. 
due to the nature of that coating. This, of course, is that blue, as I mentioned, looking good so far. But if you're a business executive and your company buys these in bulk and they're gonna send you out on the road, it has the 5G that's working great. They sent the one with the AT&T SIM card and that has been working great so far. And I like the fact that having that always on 5G connected wherever you go, especially if you're a business traveler, that is great, especially for productivity. The keyboard on this thing is fantastic, as I mentioned. Love the design, love the durability of that magnesium chassis. Uh, really not much to complain here, uh, other than that performance. I'm really gonna test it some more in my upcoming full review. They did throttle it down, or they did limit, I should say, performance due to the quiet nature. They wanted this to be a really quiet experience for the business user, and they succeeded in that. So for productivity work, you're gonna be fine. Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, all fine. Consuming media, really good. Now that Shoreview privacy display, or the Shoreview Reflect privacy display, I should mention, uh, much better improvement, of course, over prior iterations. Uh, still not perfect when it comes to the colors and stuff like that. Uh, color accuracy could be a little bit better, but it is definitely better than prior iterations. And what are you gonna love about it, of course, if you're that business exe executive, is that privacy, that security, that you know you're gonna be protected from peering eyes. And of course, one of the best features of this is the five megapixel webcam, a much better improvement over the 720p webcams we've been seeing. 1440p video is capable on this, and I like the microphones built in, uh, noise canceling microphones that actually were pretty decent, but I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. I got a lot of testing to do on this, but so far I'm seeing good battery life. Uh, I have more performance testing to do. I will bring you all the numbers, of course, in my full review coming very soon. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. And don't forget to check out my live stream every Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.